Cam, thank you so much with the mayor live tonight uh, to Bridge City now where school administrators were hoping the second time was the charm. You see voters rejected their last bond proposal in 2019. So this time the district decided to divide it into two parts, hoping it'd be easier for taxpayers to handle. Let's go to the big board and the numbers. Prop A uh, for $57.5 million to pay for a new middle school. Voters giving that the thumbs up with 65% of the vote. Proposition B is for roughly $14.5 million. It would pay for a new career and tech center. Voters said yes to it as well with 66% of the vote. These bonds together in Bridge City totaling more than 72 million dollars. We're going to bring in 12 News reporter James Grant from Bridge City tonight. James, uh, administrators have to be feeling good about this. They've been talking about the needs. Jordan, that's exactly right. While these bonds will raise taxes for those living within Bridge City ISD limits, many folks we spoke to, including Bridge City ISD Superintendent Mike Kelly, believe now is the time for the upgrades. Proposition A will include a new middle school with a capacity to accommodate 900 students. It will be equipped with upgraded safety, security, and technology features. Proposition B will provide a new career and tech facility with additional lab space, classroom space, and storage. Both projects are aimed at allowing growth within Bridge City ISD, something voters say is needed. They have needed for a long time to get a new middle school. And I think this is the time to do it, to give these kids a good start. Our career and technology students, that, that uh, programs are, are, are busting. And so uh, we're turning a lot of kids away in those programs. I think people understand that and people don't want that to happen. Bridge City ISD Superintendent Mike Kelly actually says that the tax increase this time around will be six cents less than if the two bonds had passed in 2019. If you remember, a similar bond was proposed in 2019, but Bridge City voters shot it down. And we reached out to Superintendent Kelly tonight to find out what's next as far as the two projects go. We haven't heard back, but Bridge City voters have spoken and it looks like they'll be getting a new middle school and also a new career and tech facility in the near future. Live in Bridge City, James Grant, 12 News. 